do. How do you do do the do do you do do? I do do. I do. Do do. Top 10 most cringeworthy openings to a stream ever. Anyway. Ah. Hello. It is Thursday again. And my energy is pretty much non existent at the moment. But I am going to force myself to do this. Is this a bad idea? Certainly. Just because I feel like I got a... Yeah, I don't know if I bit down on something wrong while I was eating dinner or what, but I feel like I got a toothache. But whatever. We'll go, we'll push through. Persevere, as they say. I'm not sore. I'm not sore or anything. I'm just incredibly tired. Your posture straight. Three, two, one, go. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Try to raise your knees upward rather than out. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the heel lift stretch. Okay, I just had to look over and make sure my microphone was on. Focus on keeping your knees out. Last time. My my hip Good. doesn't do that, the rotating Next, of the right the direction. Stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Anyway. Don't let your knees move too far forward. I had dinner. Long before stream today, so I'm kind of feeling sure a little lethargy of, ahead of you. having eaten food. Let's do one more of each. Yes, just like that. Finally, spread your yeah. feet. I'm feeling the lethargy a little bit of having eaten something first. So I'm a little eh. Be sure to keep your lower at the moment. Straight. said in the tweet I should slowly come about as we go here today let's do one more of each great job it is Okay, sorry. Thought I saw a ping. Had to go check it really quick. Yes, I. I, I know this game. I'm, I'm aware of this. I've done this many times. In quick succession. Okay, right. I started here. Uh, itchy, itchy, itchy. I started here today. Wait, did I even go in here? Oh, it's just a teleport back. But before I go in here, I'm stalling. Before I go forward, I want to see. Okay, I need a garnet. I need three garnets. Other than that, we're good. 
Why did it make it French? I don't know. But anyway. I also saw the random frame skip. When he thinks my computer is trying to have a seizure of sorts. Hopefully not. I mean, it has been on all day uploading videos for me so I don't have to sit here and watch videos upload. The power of scheduled uploads. Anyway. Enough tapping about. Let's get started. I'm going to do anything. Or do it. A night out of things. One, I'll need to make more of these. But two, double up in materials. Come on, let's run. As I almost missed the material in question. thinking, I'm pretty sure. Not jumping for those. Oof. Yay! Okay, let's fly. I can see. I think my uh I think when I was doing my sync to actually get the ring kind of connected, it was <coughs> being a little wonky. And I now see that that is not just a fear, but is actually a reality. I did also kind of go off at length last week while playing that the ring may need to be replaced soon because it's been acting, it, the ring itself has been acting weird. Okay, that is a pretty good reward. Which means I've almost got all the skills, I think. No, we don't skip fights. We fight all of our battles. Here in the dojo. Here in the dojo jojo. <sighs> Man. I say it like that, and then I'm, rem I'm reminded myself of the fact that they're trying to do a live-action Powerpuff Girls, and they've had to scrap at least three revisions of it so far. Also, my apologies from starting late for you, uh, a little late for you guys. Probably actually early for a lot of people, but for me it's late. I was playing and starting about an hour ago, and then my bot and then right as I was about to put up the announcement, my body just went no, and I've been incapacitated for about an hour just trying to wake, wake my brain up to actually be functional. I know, me, my brain, waking up, perish the thought.
Well, that's one. That's one KO. Now I need three more. There we go. Okay. Let's select the skill. Actually, now that I sit there and think about it, <clears throat> as a belch, <clears throat> wouldn't the phrase, it's scratching its foot, be... Oh, it is the environment. Okay. Wouldn't the phrase of, it's scratching its foot, be more indicative of, it's using one foot to scratch the other? You know, kind of like that. But I'm probably overthinking this. Also, I know the microphone is not that good at picking up noises, especially because the AC is running right now. But when I did that first twist, pretty much every vertebrae in my spine popped. Parados. I need garments. Okay. Enemy soundly defeated. Alright, so we're gonna see if we jump for that. And once again, we don't skip fights. Fights are how you even do like the working out bit of this game anyway. Okay, let's go. This will focus on your wits. Alright! Excellent! Great! Awesome! Fantastic! Sharp! Fine work! Oh, we're done. <sighs> okay. So, I guess I'm going to do the stupid thing and poke the hornet's nest a little bit here while, while I say this, but... Oof. One of my more recent streams... I mentioned, I talked uh, a little bit about how the whole... There were, uh... There's... 
there's bot accounts floating about on Twitch now. And their main goal is to make the platform as unsafe for many people as possible. Me not being the prime target demographic, but I mean, and I know I'm poking the horns next by talking about it, but I've been noticing. I pay attention to my emails and things that happen throughout the week. I've been noticing, and I also know there's a repository. Uh, people are keeping a repository of sorts of these accounts that are the hate bot accounts, if you will. And every time one of these, every time I uh, get followed by a by a what is it? Every time now I get followed by somebody on a day that I'm not streaming. I get leery and I do research. Okay. I do research and find out if the uh, accounting question is one of the if the accounting question is one of these hate bots and uh, docs bots that that we're so worried about. And the answer is yes, actually, I have at least two people that have followed me recently. If you want to call the bots people. Two of those bots that followed me recently are indeed bots. Banned. <laughs> not even gonna give the people those. Not even gonna give people who make those bots the time of day. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ban their BS account without even uh, questioning things. As I've said before, hate is a thing that's completely out the door now. You're done hating on people because they're different. That fad and tread died about in the year 2000. But some people just can't get through their head. And again, I know I'm poking the horns and that's by even talking about this in the first place. Here's the way I look at it. I'm a small enough creator on Twitch primarily. I'm a small enough creator on Twitch that even if they want to come flowing in troves. Ooh, scary. You you decide to waste your time and effort on somebody with no audience. Good job. <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, the enthusiasm, Joy-Con combo, but I am not doing high knee lifts for the entirety of my workout. There we go. Do a little bit of working out. My mind is starting to come back to me and function properly. Now this will probably be like upper upper 80s, 90s maybe. This won't be a super... Okay, 100. That's fine. Won't be a super impressive readout. Oh, that was the one? That was the one, the one, the one. I'll stop. <laughs> or will I? No, I won't. I think, oh, is this the moment? It's the moment. It's the moment we unlock the last skill in the game. Take that to uh, Twitter later. If I remember, probably won't. Can I power them up? Please tell me you're going to stop giving me skill points on level up now. Anyway, let's make some smoothies. AK. I have no dragon fruit. AK, let's just make a bunch of banana smoothies. Some sesame seeds banana smoothies. What else can I make that's fun? 
Uh, let's see, I have two of those. I have two of these already, and I don't need to make super huge supply of them. I need more... Ex I need more cottage. Oh, I just left that with... Smart. Are you ready? So, yeah, that's all I wanted to... I guess that's kind of my opening thoughts here, is that... Squeeze. Opening thoughts here, and I'll probably think of something else as time goes on today, but... Just... Hello, bot... Hello, bot accounts who are attempting to flood into the stream and spew hate hateful nonsense at people who come in here to have a good time. Hi! Hello, how's it going? You're, you're banned. Cool, cool talk. <laughs> You ever see what the little... You ever want to know what the little definition of poking the hornet's nest is? Want to see it again? I just... Okay. I said I would get off that topic, but I'm not... I don't think I'm going to. It's, it's, it, I'll, I'll roll into something else, but it's literally what's on my mind right now, because that's what we're talking about. That's what, what, what I'm talking about to start off with. It's still... I don't get... Why people spend their time making these kinds of things. Like... Why would you spend your time making something... ...that does nothing for anybody? Does all zero things for all zero people. And you spend your... And you spend your natural talents of coding... You spend your natural talents uh, with that to make hate speech. But then again, I guess I can't really like... I can't really hope to even understand. I can't even begin to understand why... Like... I can't even begin to understand why that's so appealing to some people. But I have never been able to figure that out in the, what, 20 years the internet has existed? Because that's been going on since I was 13. And then there's these people who are 13 to 17, possibly older, not, not, uh, not counting anybody out of the picture here. You know, there's people who are, who weren't even alive when this miracle of the internet came around. And what they're choosing to do with this miracle of worldwide communication is ruin their own social standing and do nothing else with it. Like, I gotta think about these people, you know, five, ten years from now. You're gonna call the other one back, I know this. Oh, a rare hobgrim. Oh, I apologize. Well, I'm not gonna change up my pattern, I'm just gonna do this. But yeah, you know, five, ten years after, you know, once they've been found out for the dumb things they've done, you know, how much it just basically destroys their future because they thought, ha ha, funny, make hate speech, ha ha ha. I am clever internet troll. No, dude, you just op you just opened up a can of worms, and now have, and now, and now have basically made yourself known to the people of the internet who do coding for a living and in. Oh, excuse me. And in less time than it took you to make your troll account, they have they have traced back, they have found out who you really are. 
trace back your IP and address. Ex basically expose who you re who, what your real name is to the internet and basically ruin your chances of successful employment for the rest of your life. Worth that, worth that one week controlling at 20. When because of that you won't get a job at 50. <laughs> Arms are sore. Uh. Which, speaking of older people, myself being one of them. God, this is gonna be a political platform stream, isn't it? Ah! Uh. Um. I saw a tweet on Monday. I want to say it was that made me think. And probably, if anybody else who saw it, probably made a lot of other people think of. You know, okay. when you think Let's someone who's gamefully employable, you know, you think somebody 20 or 30 years old who have knowledge in the field. And those that are have knowledge in the field but are like 60, 70, 80 years old, you know, you look at those people, as, as a society, we look at those people and we go, they have no redeemable quality whatsoever as a person. They cannot work for they are too old, feeble, and their mind is going. Why are they the ones in charge of everything <laughs> on a na on a uh, government national scale? I'm not saying anarchy. I'm not screaming anarchy here. I want to get make that point clear. I am not. Repeat. I am not. Repeating a third time. I am not screaming anarchy. I'm screaming. Make you think a little bit. <laughs> oh lord. Apparently having a, apparently my grandmaster plan of having chips for dinner last night was not the grand was not a grand plan in the end. The ramifications are coming to are rearing their ugly head. So, I'm talking about that, let's make that a, let's make that a gear change here. So, so I've been noticing while I've been putting on shirts throughout the week now and whatnot. I guess for the last two months rather, I've been putting on shirts and whatnot. I've been noticing that some things that fit that fit very have fit loose still fit loose in the important area, but around the chest area fit tighter, <laughs> making me think that either my workout regimen or the fact that most of the most of what I do at work now is when I do any lifting, it's 30 to 50 pound boxes. And I pick them, and I'm stupid. I pick those sons of guns straight up in the air, move them, set them back down. Sometimes without even squatting, so I'm doing a lot more arm and chest exercises now than I was throughout my day. think that Perfect. I mean I'd be stupid if I denied it the fact that I have put on some pounds over the last two months what makes me think most of the weight isn't so much fat as it is muscle from working out different muscle groups than I'm used to working out
I know, it's dumb self-reflective talk in this more or less. Okay. And it can also be seen as me trying to find excuses. Trying to find excuses and say, oh, I'm not really putting on weight or anything like that, but I mean I do level with myself and do understand that even though I do work out and I don't eat as much as I used to. Yeah, kind of eating like crap the last little bit. Very nice. Probably should rectify that at some point. But part of it might also be like a little bit of stress too. Because I'm I'm trying to find the time to record side projects alongside main project stuff. And it's causing me to fret and panic. It's causing me to fret and panic because all of these side things I work on makes me do like double of my normal workload for videos for a week. Just so I can double or buckle down and try and do um, you got it. There it goes. <laughs> Try to buckle down Great hustle. and record something that's not my main focus in the span in the span of what should be my main focus. So I'm stressing out a little bit in that in that regard. Am I making any sense? Probably not. It might be that, you know, it could be, you know, I just have to curb my body's natural wants for a little bit here coming up. Or at least try to cur curb those uh, cravings. Because, what is it? I know that my body's internal clock of sorts when it comes like to the patterns that we as people follow when it comes to you know when you do X Y thing you know such as internal notes of hey this time of year is coming up this time of year is coming up when it's only cold you need to you need to add on a couple more pounds to self-insulate and also to prepare for the cold air or the cold that's going to make you shiver thus burning more calories but I know my body's clock is off on all that kind of stuff like I do notice um, what is it I notice that like early spring, uh, or not early, um, late spring all the way through summer, my body tries to carbo load and crave things it doesn't need super hard. But then the winter time when, it was supposed to, when you're supposed to be doing that, my body thinks it's almost springtime and I need to be laying off and I need to be laying off that because hot bod time is here. Uh, hot bod time, now a official time of day. Year, month, semester, quadrilogy, and season finale. Amen. <laughs> Did any of that make sense? No. Did it have to make sense? No. This is what we call verbal diarrhea. Thoughts come to mind. 
and we turn off the filter in the brain to just make them explode into reality. If anybody asks, what's the secret to content creation? It's called turning off that filter. <laughs> Take that filter, take that filter out back with a uh, with a high caliber round, and <laughs> that was terrible. Filter's off, by the way. Should we make my heart explode? Actually, I should do this one because that's the. I should do this one because the the candle bell on the right is the strongest of them all. Huh. But anyway, looping back around to that whole stress and whatnot that I've been taught that was talking about with doing extra stuff. So I've been self-imposing a deadline on, on a side series that I probably don't even need to have done for another three years. But in the back of my head, things are screaming at me that, hey, if you don't get this side series done soon, you're going to fall behind. And I, and I keep telling myself when, I, when my brain tries to punish me for not fulfilling those guidelines, those goals, or the, adhering to the guidelines. I've said to myself, my brain tries to yell at me, I fail, I just go, dude, we don't have to worry about that for like three years. There's time. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. To which my brain rebuttals back, hey, no, there's not time. But I got a good chunk of work done on that side project of mine. So I have a feeling that over the weekend, should my should uh, my brain want to finish cooperating with me, like it keeps yelling at me to, should my brain want to finish cooperating with me, I might be able to wrap up that side series, at least on the recording end and be blissfully ignorant to the calls of you need to do it, you need to do it. And I can't really talk about it because once again, it's something that doesn't need to be finished for, something that doesn't really even need to be finished for probably about three years now. And yet, I'm working on it now. That's just how I be. That's just how I do the evil that I do do. Like, what is it? You might be able to actually see it in the corner. The, okay. You might be able to see it on the side here. If I point at it. So this, this stack right here, you can probably barely even think of making out. This is all games sitting over here in order of which I would like to do them coming after uh, coming up here. 
And there's seven games sitting up here. And an eighth one that I need to play in the first place because I just discovered I just re rediscovered this game and need to actually play it. There we go. That stage is done. Take a quick break and get some water. So yeah, the uh, surprise no one. They're all Nintendo-based games. I should think about sliding a not Nintendo game into there. Because I know most of my brand revolves around indie titles and Nintendo stuff, I should find things that aren't Nintendo outside of the indie stuff. So there is like a bump on my thumb. It's distracting. Okay, so we've already burned, according to this, we've already burned 126 calories over 20 minutes. Which is great, because we're, that is very close to, we're about a third of the way through burning off the bowl of rice I had for, well, half of my dinner, which was a bowl of rice with soy sauce. Which might explain why I am mentally drained because salt. <laughs> Need drink more water when salt. If no drink water when salt, brain go. <laughs> oh, hey, this is a stage I do normally in my own in my own uh, recreational free time. Which okay. something I should mention really quick is because we're gonna go through this stage because it is in my normal routine, so I'm kind of used to doing it, but. I know I've mentioned a lot about the elliptical. You can kind of make it out behind my left leg. Uh, right, your right side, my left side. Or I guess it's left side for both of us, isn't it? Never mind, I'm dumb. I can't, I can't tell directions in the mirror. Lots of yoga today. Um, instead of doing, instead of doing the run and ring fit, and probably only putting myself out an extra half hour, it's, I'm uh, kind of doubling down on my weekend workouts by hopping on this thing down here for the remainder of two hours. So I get a more, so I get more of a, I get a longer run in more than anything now. And really, I should be using that thing more often. Or I should just be using the thing when I'm like, really just kind of sitting around doing jack all, except for watching a video. Because, surprise, when you're watching videos, not editing or making them, when you're just watching videos, you don't need to be sitting at the computer. You can be up and active and still watch the video. A lesson I'm teaching, trying to teach myself now. Okay, switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. <sighs> but. So yeah, it's, I think I've, it's behind my leg now, but I think I've used that thing for, <sighs> got it about a month ago. Yeah, so I've used it for about 12 hours of running since I've had it. I should probably use it more simply because 
If I don't use it more, it becomes less useful and I'm be less inclined to get on it. Then, that stupid little thing is what I, that exact same stupid little thing is what I used to drop over 100 pounds two, three years ago now, with, along with uh, hard dieting. Like, that was the only equipment I used. I didn't use Wii Fit U or Wii Fit, even though I have both games, via donation from my parents. Well, donation from my parents when my youngest sister really wanted it for some reason and then never used it. So when I said, so when I told her, hey, would you like this stuff? Mom and Dad bought it because they thought you wanted to use it. I got a no. <laughs> so via my parents' unknowing donation, I have, I at least have Wii Fit. I don't think I have Wii Fit U, even though I'm sitting, standing right next to the balance board. Maybe that's only one of these times to shake things up. Maybe I'll get the, uh, maybe I'll find a copy, a used copy of We Fit You, and do a stream with that, or stream, or streams with that, because change up the uh, workout game. Because admittedly, you can only watch somebody play Ring Fit for so many weeks. I know this for a fact. You know this for a fact. Your neighbor, your neighbor down the street knows this for a fact. It's just me committing to actually doing it is becoming the hard part. Excuse me. Apparently I've let a bullfrog in the room. Something fell. Doctor Why we fell. you. How are you gentlemen? All your bases belong to us. Actually, hold on. Let me cue this up and do something really quick. Because... While my boot was on the floor, I remembered a couple games that I would like to cover. So we're going to add them to the stack. A lot of DS games on here. <sighs> oh. 
I don't know why I'm deciding right now to go look at my collection and go, hmm, yeah, let's let's make a place let's let's put that aside so I can make a playlist or a video series out of it. Smart scooter. Priorities, what are they? What's a priority? I thought you knew. Listen, I pay you zero dollars to keep track of my priorities. I'm looking at one piece of media I've got here. One piece, by the way, haha. I'm looking at a piece of media I've got here on the shelf. That's that's a trilogy of games that I want to cover coming up. And I'm looking at that and I'm going. I'm, I'm looking at it going, oh god. I'm gonna make that a trilogy playthrough. All one right next, to, one, all back to back, one, without breaks, one after the other. That's gonna eat up an entire year. <laughs> also, I can, I can hear my, I can hear like the air we wheezing and ga or grasping in my throat, like. Relax and don't strain your well, basically, like it is when I had terrible asthma. So it's kind of tells me that. I've got excess phlegm in the back of my throat, which tells me either A, it was a weird noise and I shouldn't worry about it, or B, falls upon us, peak allergy season is, is nigh, my body is trying to fend off fall allergies when it's still 80 plus degrees outside. As I've said before, if you've never had fall allergies, count your lucky stars. You don't have to deal with allergies. You feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Because those of us that do have asthma, it's a constant battle to stay alive, literally. Just Oh the dang it, that that thing's gonna heal. Dang it. The thing with allergies is it's a constant battle against nature. Unfortunately, nature can produce a lot more pollen than your body can produce antibodies when you have seasonal allergies and or asthma. So, I remember what was gonna stick in there. Hold on, let me, hopefully this doesn't freak out. I remember what was gonna stick in there. Unless I decide to do a blind playthrough or something, my next year and a half to two years of video content creation is set. God, it looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enough ex existential crisis. Let's do. My, let's stop and let's stop stalling on mountain climbers. <sighs> now, if my work ethic has been anything to go on today, I'm gonna die after after the twentieth one of these.
Who wants to see a man dead live on camera? You're about to. But no pain, no gain, as this, as it goes, as the saying goes. Got in the way. And now here comes this crap. It, it's in. for mountain climbers, but here we are, and there it goes. Whew. I still get skill points, unfortunate. Give me, give me a second to recover, but I just remember where we are on the stage. Whoosh! Drop your hips. Victory! Okay. Now I can relax while I check my pulse. And see that it's abysmally high because I am out of shape from not doing regular exercise, but rather depending upon my work, my routine at work to give me exercise. I mean, again, I'm, it's not the worst workout, workout routine that I get at work because I am regularly lifting 30 to 50 pound boxes like once every 15 minutes over the course of eight hours. It's not consistent reps, but it is reps. But it still does not compare to the stress, quote stress by the way, the strenuousness of an actual workout. So we're going to start with this. Try and clear things out. <sighs> give me a quick breather. I like how I just got done with a quick breather and I'm saying give me a quick breather after that short minute. <sighs> All 
I'm not as badly in shape as I was four or five years ago. But it is still difficult to move around 250 pounds. About 210 of that muscle. Well, muscle, skeletal structure, and vital organs. Well, I won't deny them fat. <laughs> I'm what the Good job. I'm what the kids used to describe Professor Birch uh, uh, am. I am what they call fit fat. Okay. I look like a go overpower buffet. Well done. But taking a one mile jog is also not outside of my realm of expertise. <laughs> Again, at some point in the future, because I stopped, I stopped mid-spring for some reason. I can't remember why I stopped actually jogging to switch to like a five-mile walk instead. But I need to. I should try going for another mile, two-mile jog again, just see if I can do it. It's been a couple months, so I'm probably horrible without a shape to do it, but I still want to do it. You know, to do it. To do. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Ha <laughs> ha. Subject curveball. Speaking of curveballs, curveballs go back, sometimes go back, right back to the point where they started in, la in lateral movement. Which is where this comes in. Professor Birch, Pokemon! So I'm talk about the uh, Pokemon presentation that happened on Tuesday? No, it was yesterday. I'm sorry. Dates are hard. Especially when you don't need to remember the day at your day job. All you need to remember is the day of the week. <laughs> anyway. So Pokemon... I guess kind of, I'm going to try and go in order of when they occurred on the stream. So, first things first in all this. Unite, of course. At work, you know, while the, while the uh, presentation was going on and at, while I was at work on break, I was thinking, huh, you know what Unite needs? A Pokemon that just sets up an arena trap and makes it a one-on-one -on -one duel between it and whoever it catches. <laughs> and Mammal Swine seems to be the perfect fit for that kind of Pokemon. <sighs> I get home, I get home six hours later and see and see the presentation, and that's the first thing I'm greeted by is Mammal Swine coming soon. So. You know I'm about to, you know I'm about to probably pick up, I'm hoping it's a new, it's a tank, but knowing my luck it's probably not a tank, huh? Look at me, watch, look at me about to pick up a new tank and unite. God, I want to like the tanks po Pokemon so much and unite. But Krustle is so much a snowball Pokemon. Either you stomp in the, you either you stomp by the time you hit level 6, or you can do nothing the rest of the game. It's a snowball Pokemon. There's no turning point with that Pokemon. Uh, what else? Well, let me ruminate on that while I do these. Okay, let's move.
Okay. I kind of got my thoughts in a row. Okay. Well, we finish this, these reps before we talk about more Pokemon stuff, eh? My left Joy-Con's about to take a trip into the ground out of frustration. You know, work if you wouldn't mind. Okay, there we go. So anyway, so Gen 4 Remix, now that they're happening. One, they're fixing up a lot of stuff with the Gen 4 Remix that I didn't like about Gen 4. Now, to the three of you that say, oh, you're just saying that because Platinum's your favorite main series title, which it is. A reminder, a reminder, or I guess not a reminder, a message that I didn't like on the underground area. I didn't like Pal Park. I wasn't a fan of the fact that HP ticks so slow. And there's a bunch of other little tiny things that they're spicing up with those parts and also with the main game that it's starting to become appealing to pick it up. Three months ago, when, three months ago or whatever it was, when they said, hey, we're doing, we're doing Diamond and uh, Pearl remakes, I was like, mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. So yeah, they're changing up enough and providing features for other stuff that would make okay, it, it's go. starting to make it tantalizing Challenge enough for me to try and get the game now. Well, game. Amazing. I know, because of how Excellent. accounts work on the Nintendo Switch, I now no longer have to buy both versions of the game for preparation of eventually recording okay. a series on it. Awesome. I can record a series on the game from the same version of the game without risking overriding save data or losing save data even in some instances. about that that is the only one of the, the major negative thing I will say about it which will probably be uh, proven is the case in not in my favor but I hope that since these are remakes with minor changes they aren't getting the full $60 price tag I understand a lot of work and assets went into it and also some minor things that you can't account for like physics but also, it's a remake. The story and assets don't have to be made from scratch. They're there in the base game, for the most part. You just have to take everything that was two-day... Two-day? Yeah, go me. 
you just have to take everything that was 2D and make it 3D. And then clean up any and then anything that was 3D on the DS version of the games. Just clean them up for, for the home console release, effectively. Again, I'm not a game designer, so everything I'm saying is probably a slap in the face to most game designers. Well done. Keep it up. Like, Great. much like I nice. wished was the case with Link's Awakening on Switch. I kind of wish it. Would, I kind of hope that they're like fifty dollar releases because they're just ports. But I know for a fact that. They are, they are 99 percentile chance okay. of being a full price release Amazing. with a pre-order bonus. Great. And if you spend seventy dollars instead of sixty dollars, you get an extra in-game sticker. Nice. Okay. And it, and you can buy a two-pack, which saves you two cents in the long run okay. of both games. about myself included is Arceus <coughs> excuse me Pokemon Legends Arceus <coughs> now if I recall correctly that game is being handed off to Bandai Namco or another third party developer like the first like this is gonna be the first game being handed off to somebody that outside Nintendo and the Pokemon company And it appears, I think it's Bandai, I could be wrong, but it appears whoever is holding on to that, whoever is taking the reins on that, has said, okay, so this is Pokemon, yes, but what if it, the formula wasn't Pokemon? What if the formula was survive in the wild against fearsome creatures? Oops, Pokemon. Thing that makes me think it's uh, Pokemon or uh, Bandai Namco handling it is because the turn order system in the game reminds me okay, a lot of a lot of Bandai Namco produced uh, RPGs. Uh, the later Tales of series, specifically that I'm thinking about, where it's still a turn based, it's still turn based, but your speed stat determines how often you go in a turn. It's almost like an active time battle gauge. Where you have a speed of 70, the enemy has a speed of like, of like 40, and whoever gets up to 100 first gets their turn. So you hit 70, you get, you get 70, 100 one turn. You hit, You hit 210, two turns. Oh, looks like the, the thing with 40 finally gets a turn after hitting 120 speed overall. And just kind of like that. I like that. That's like a totally different, you know, flip. It's not much considering a lot of RPGs have been doing it. But considering it's doing that with Pokemon, it's kind of a real big change.
There we go. <sighs> okay, let's keep it going. It's all single target stuff, so I'm not gonna change too much of my attack strategy. <sighs> Alright. But, because it is Pokemon, and, you know, when you make a Pokemon game, even if it's a spin-off, a lot of times the focus ends up becoming what's the new, what are the new Pokemon? Which everybody's losing their marbles over Hisuian Gar uh, Growlithe and Basque Legion, but Hisuian Braviary, nothing. And am I the only one that's hyped for for Rear Deer? Probably. Wonderful. Very nice. Nicely done. Fantastic. It is me. Oh god. A boy who lives in the north. Great. Awesome. Who see who's seeing a deer is what is one of three reactions of oh that's a deer, that's cool to see. Great. Or two, oh god, there's a deer on the road. Sell it stop the car. Or three. Oh, that dude didn't cross the road fast enough. Oh, now it's food for the for the ravens. Which I know deer are in more places than the Midwest and the northern half of the states and subsequently Canada but I feel like I talk about deer more often in the wilderness than even some people who recreationally go hunting for wild game who live south of my, of my state of Wisconsin Oh, you brought the boys back. Oh no, the boys, they're in town. The boys are back in town. Boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Boys are back in town. I do not know if that's even remotely close to the, to the uh, cadence, lyrics, or tone of the song. All I know is it's a song, and whenever you hear it, you get an earworm. You're welcome. You now have that song stuck in your head, even though you only heard the chorus. Like, I am... I suppose I'm not driven mad by the hype for the game. Thankfully, I've learned to quell my hype in the recent five years of my life. But I feel like, of the internet, as a whole, I'm part of the 2% population that is hyped for Weird Ear amongst all, everything announced yesterday. Give me Weird Ear, Sawsbuck, Go Goat. I will have team hooves. <laughs> well done. Keep it up. Or team antlers. However you want to look at it. Nicely done. Are, there more, are there more Pokemon that have antlers? Can I actually make this a thing? Hold on. This might be a Google search for later. All right. Amazing. Just which Pokemon have antlers? Antlers and horns, I'm going to count in the same camp for, the, for this case. So I could cheat and say Charizard, but I'm not.
Like I'm just trying to think of any Pokemon that were show that were showing off in that direct at all that have uh, antlers specifically. Antlers that come off of their head. Uh, give me a second game. The spirit is willing, but the body is exhausted. If Absol's in Legends, I could consider Absol, because it is one horn, or one antler. Team Antler, let's go! Don't you know, let's go! Team Antler, eh? I've been lying to you the whole time. This is actually my normal speaking voice. I put on a different voice, so you guys can actually understand what I'm talking about. Scooter doing a terrible Canadian accent. I actually was trying to go for someone from Minnesota, though the two can be misconstrued for one another <laughs> in most cases. That's the thing about my voice that I know is that it could be because of my long-term asthma, or it could actually be the dialect of this area, but I know most people who live up north Specifically, people who live in my state of Wisconsin are known to talk through their nose. Not as bad as this, but known to talk through their nose when they speak. And that's because we spend three, what is it? That's because we spend probably about five months out of our year freezing cold, dripping, dripping mucus everywhere because our body's trying to regulate temperatures. Why is it why is it voice a horse? And bad joke. Anyway. close to a knockout. Not quite, but close. Never mind, it is a knockout. Let's do a quick check on that pulse. Like I've been prone to do recently whenever I stream this is I check my check my pulse every time we're done with a every time we're done with the stage. And it's looking like a 130, 125. That was close. Unfortunately, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. No. We have at least one more to go, right? Uh, at least one more, if not two more. So that's a hydrate break. <sighs> Excuse me. And they gave me the yellow me in a second, but I'm out of water, and instead of suffering, I'm gonna go get more water. So enjoy this dead air while I go get water. Here's the way.
<sighs> Bask in some water and some cool air for a minute. So hey, while I'm while I'm putting anything myself set back up and thinking about things, you know what I thought of as I was walking back? I realize it's Scent of Scorch's signature move, and giving it to another Pokemon will make Scent of Scorch not as unique. But I just had a thought. Uh, if Hussein uh, Arcanine doesn't get a type change to a, mul uh, a uh, monotype or anything like that, I'm thinking how cool would it be if Hussein Arcanine gets, <clears throat> excuse me, gets uh, Burnout for its mo one of its mo uh, possible moves. It does a 130 power fire move and becomes a pure rock type after that. Uh. <laughs> It'd be a bold defensive play. Plus, you can still use the move just without the added uh, same type attack bonus. I don't know. I just think Burnout is probably one of the... Burnout, from my knowledge, is the only move that I... In the in the game series right now, only a, a damaging move in the series right now, that, that will completely nullify one of the Pokemon's types after use. Roost is a status move that nullifies flying type of a Pokemon when, when used, so... Oh, headaches trying to form. Okay, give me one second. I don't know if it's a migraine trying to set in or if it's the headache I, I dealt with this morning or it's the fact that I know I have not been drinking enough water lately, just not drinking liquids, period, but not drinking enough water lately, and that is starting to come back to bite me right now. Because I got a headache that's like right behind, right be, it's like right here. It's right here. Focused right here in my skull. And it's pulsing and going to my eye and the, uh, I think it's the mandula. Going to the mandula at the back of my head as well. On that, on the same side of my head. And it's pulsing. I have no idea if I'm going facing the camera right now when I'm doing this, by the way. It's pulsing. So every time I do anything right now, like talk or try and move my eyes, pulses and sends a shock of pain through my head. Okay, I think it's subsiding a little bit, so it might be just uh my it may have just been a water thing. May have anyway. It's going here, 13 minutes, which would Tell me about where I want to stop, but let me look here. Four minutes. Okay. If it says four minutes, let's do both of these stages before we call it a night. Because that'll put me at about it would put me about an hour overall. Now watch me not read it, and that actually said 14 minutes and me to eat my words. But I swear I only read four minutes. Interesting. Well, considering I want to take it a little bit easier today, can I get you do something that is attack power up plus guaranteed extra turn? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, let's just do attack power double. You know, double up. Uh, uh. Dot one eight hundred mix a lot. <laughs> okay, 
Oh, it's a double money battle, I just realized. Well, I'm okay on this time. Huh. I haven't cleared. I don't think you can clear notifications, but I just saw one of the notifications on the a sidebar from one of those uh, hate bots that have followed me recently. Wonderful. I realize it's a extremely watered down anagram for something much worse. Very nice. Awesome. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. There we go. Now, how many of you are going to run away? Two of you. One of you? None of you. Okay, well... Double money. Uh, do I want to just flat out switches of the attack skill? I'm pretty sure I've made several, several like that in the past. Apparently I haven't. I'm trying to think of the play here. I mean, I might as well use this, right? Alright. Now I have my left Joy-Con disconnect once again.
Oh, that's it? Okay. And that's why we have smoothie bonuses. To double the money we get from stuff. Drop your hips. <sighs> Victory! Okay. I'm not gonna bother, there's only four minutes. I still think I'm going to be going in there and putting something in, but I'm not. Anyway. Uh. Do I have it in me today? 77. 77 and 13 minutes. I'm going to hate myself, but let's push the envelope. Okay. There is there is a hope here. I know I've been dumb and made yes. I'm gonna cheat a little bit in this fight. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and work out things that aren't constant okay. mountain climbers. Focus on your chest muscles and Although I should probably do another round of those before I end today. Just to get that back into the rotation and into my system. can't heal all of this damage eventually you will fall I like how I hit the sped up portion. I thought I was done already. Okay, so only one of them is gonna heal, unless the big guy's already going for a wombo combo. After one, nope, one of them's gonna heal. I should save that for round two, actually, because I know I'm going to have to do it again in the future whenever this runs out. So, whenever this boost runs out, I'm going to have to do that. So, let's abuse the boost.
Okay. Well, like I said, I'm gonna keep using the boost while I've got the boost. <laughs> oh, excuse me, and I broke 300 calories. So hey, I've already burned off half my dinner. Okay, let's go. Challenge yourself by keeping your feet off the ground. Okay. Nicely done. Nice. Wonderful. Neat. Keep it up. Good job. Amazing. I'm definitely running out of steam. I think I will definitely make this the last thing we do tonight because I am on fumes. Fumes and I'm cheating my way through with with smoothies. Great. Okay. Hello, King Sloth. If I look like your mother, you have a very masculine mother. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Just trying to make light of the, light of the joke. Excellent. Nice. Forgive my crass language, but I've gone on record several times that they're saying that there are very there there are plenty of women that could probably kick my ass. Maybe 250 pounds and most of that vital right. organs and muscles. Keep it up. All right. Okay. But I am also a pushover. Keep it up. Ichi, Uno, Lucky break. Eins, what are we, why, why are we calling out the number one? Boss fights a joke, don't they? Fine work. Amazing. Very nice. We're already at, gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be at or below the one third mark on this, and it's taking about half the time that they uh, 
projected. I think. Did they say 12 minutes or 13 minutes? I think I came here at 45 minutes. I should say, before we wrap up here, to bring the conversation back around with Pokemon. Because that's the main focal point I made today. <sighs> yeah, we'll do this one, why not? <sighs> Give me one second. The Gen 4 remakes, I remain. I, cur I was I was not pessimistic, but kind of on the fence about The Gen 4 remakes, I'm cautiously optimistic on right now. Because they're doing just enough right to m almost make it worth buying it, buying the remakes, but only at not full price. Now, if somebody who is brand new to Generation 4 were, were to be looking at it, then yes, I would say get it, because Generation 4 is a fantastic locale in the series. But I think I'm pretty much completely sold on uh, Legends Arceus. I think I'm 100% sold on that game right now. It is the long distant land to my favorite generation, and the and everything about that about that area is turned on its head. It makes much little and is much different structure-wise uh, from the series standpoint than any of the main series titles have been. Keep up your breathing. Now I understand not everybody, not everybody is into Pokemon still, and me being a man of my age, I probably shouldn't be, but whatever. We currently live in a time where you're allowed to enjoy whatever you want to enjoy. Yes, Fortnite is a game. It's a game I don't like. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's a bad game, but I just don't like it. Hell, I streamed okay. that game like, what, three, four years ago? I streamed that once. Trying to find the appeal in it. Uh, don't find the, I don't find the appeal in it. So enjoy your, enjoy your game if you like the game. I don't.
And then I know there are a handful of like naysayers and whatnot out there like Oh you would love for you just gotta do this this no no I played the game for like a total of five hours I've seen everything the the game is currently promoting I've seen everything the game has to offer I don't like it <laughs> Is it the shooting? No. Is it the building? A little bit, yes, but also no. It's the combination of those two where people use that defensively to stop themselves. They basically do nothing but hoard an entire match and the people who win are the people who hoard and know the perfect placement and perfect key combinations with their fingers to build a spiral staircase up to heaven in the matter of like three seconds. That's turtling, that's lame, I don't like it. If I see you in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, I don't wanna have to see how many walls I can demolish before I can hit you once before another wall's in its way. I wanna have a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. I grew up on Counter-Strike Source in Team Fortress 2, okay? If I see my enemy in a gunfight, let's have the gunfight. Let's not have a demolition match. Okay, let's move. Be careful not to let your head fall forward. Excellent. Okay. Plus now it seems that uh, Fortnite is starting to go the direction that Genshin Impact is of, hey, if we include every popular game out there in our game, people will only play our game. To which I respond, no, that's a too many eggs in the same basket game that nobody will want to play because there's too many eggs in the same basket. <laughs> I guess I'm speaking sp most specifically. The most specific thing I think I'm speaking about with this is the fact they just added effectively an Among Us game mode, or hips. Werewolf, or Secret Hitler, or whatever you want to call it. Victory! It's like it's cool that you want to. It's cool that you want to have that game mode in there. Maybe think about making it its own game. I know, crazy thought, making, you know, keeping your IPs separate so you don't have confusion on the road. I don't know, that's just me. I don't know, that's why, I, that's, that's why specifically YouTube-wise, also I'm done for today, I don't care what else I did. That's why specifically YouTube-wise, you know, I keep, like, I guess content creation-wise. I keep my hot takes to Twitter. I keep the Let's Play format stuff and vlogs to a lesser extent to the main channel. I keep the I keep the streaming vods to the streaming vod channel. I don't mix and mingle my stuff that much because people want specific things and they don't want Let's begin our they don't want everything in one spot because then it becomes a crazy car crash stretch within the range of your ability. Use your right hand to pull back the fingers of your left hand. While Which is why, you know, your left wrist, stretch your left arm forward. What is it? <laughs> A lot of people who do multiple things content creation wise, they find now some way to split everything up. Side. Like there are people who Take do stream stuff, the or there are people who do stream things, and then they do vlogs, and then they do normal content creation outside of that, and people have split that up to be various things. Some people do it where vlog stuff Bring is purely vlog stuff, where elbow. there's no, where there's usually no games arm. involved whatsoever, unless it's part of their daily life. 
but then everything that's game that's game related whether it's a standalone project a standalone project that they recorded in advance or something they streamed that stays to their gaming channel or for someone like me my more structured upload my more edited and structured uploads stay on the main channel and all my stream and vods that i don't edit whatsoever stay on the vod channel they don't mix and me they do not mix they do not mingle they do not play with others They do not give little Timmy's ball back to little Timmy. Bring yourself back slowly. This is the tangent. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. Now switch legs. Stretch slowly and do your best not to bounce. Hell, I know there's there's a handful of content creators out there who do video games, but they are proud. But Why they, as a person, place your hands on your knees are known for two are Rotate known for several genres. So they divide up their content for at each genre amongst each channel. Like. Return to facing forward. Cool Guy 93 FPS and Cool Guy 93 platformer and Cool Guy 93 everything else. That tells you that guy is more focused on first person shooters and ju and Jumpman platformer games and everything else he plays gets dumped to the third site. <laughs> Cross promote, but don't cross contaminate. Anyway, with that rant all done and everyone's night officially ruined, does anybody have any questions for me before I end off tonight's stream? <laughs> I gotta try and send a reminder to myself to replace my left Joy-Con with something that used more likely. Because as much as I as much as I would love to preserve this left Joy-Con, other than the system itself, this is the last relic left in my original system. Ghost and Shelly, thank you for following. I'm wrapping up stream. This is awkward. <laughs> um. But yeah, that Joy-Con is like the last remnant of my of my Switch, other than the Switch itself. So to replace it would be a little unfortunate, but whatever. Anyway, I'm about to pass things off for the rest of the night to somebody else. You know, a, a radio, as it were. But while I go pick out people to do the... I can't roll my R's because my throat's dry. Hold on. Big gulp. So for the raid tonight, that was a pitiful R roll. But for tonight's raid, let's see who we can have fun with. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are streaming tonight. I'm going to be honest, the only person I would raid tonight is probably Botanic Sage playing Pokemon Unite. And even then, I won't be sticking around for that because I have to wrap up my evening. So I think I'm going to let Autohost take over, as dumb as that is. Anyway. Um, as for future plans... Saturday, oop, hit the wrong window, Saturday, I don't know what I want to do, there is, hold on, give me a minute.
stuff. There's one more Switch game here I wanted to pull out. There you are. So, for Saturday, for Saturday, I'm thinking one of these three games. You can't see the middle one, can you? There you go, now you can see it. God, you still can't even see it very well. Basically, Chris Tales, Skyward Sword HD, or Asha and Monster World, or Pokemon Unite. That's kind of what's in my mental space as to games I want to uh, games I want to move on to, or games I would like to play more. So, between those three games, or Unite is probably what will happen on Saturday, depending upon what I'm feeling like, as long as nothing else comes up. But yeah, that's going to be it. So everyone, thank you all for coming out to this evening's workout stream. And hopefully I'll see you guys on Saturday when I'll actually stream for more than two hours and actually stream earlier than 9 o'clock at night. Damn my motivation and lack thereof. As I stare off into the non-existent sunset. You can't see it, but there's a non-existent sunset beyond the microphone. You just can't see it because it's non-existent. This is a stupid bit. Anyway. Thanks everybody for coming out, and I'll let Autohost take over for where you guys go to. Have a good day.